This is section 3.3, .3, power functions and polynomial functions. In this video, we're going to go through number 65 in your book. In this problem, it's telling us to write the function that's represented by all this given information. All right, so to go through this type of problem, we just need to go through each of these pieces piece by piece and see what comes up. So the one that I'll start with for this problem is the degree. So I think that's the biggest piece of information that they give us. They tell us that the degree is 4, so I'll write that as y equals x to the 4th. My leading term is raised to the fourth power. All right, next thing I'll look at are my x and y intercepts. So they tell me that my y intercept is 0, 1. So that means if I were to plug 0 in for x, I get 1 as my output for y. So I can just write that as x to the fourth plus 1. If I were to plug in 0 for x here, I get 0 plus 1. That'd give me my y intercept. For my x intercept, I don't have one, so I don't really need to worry about it. If you're curious though, this function, as it's written right now, works for my no x-intercept. Because if I were to subtract 1 over to the other side, when I set y equal to 0, I'd get negative 1 equals x to the 4th. There is no number when raised to the 4th power that will give me a negative value, or will give me negative 1. So this means that there's no x-intercept for this function that I've written here. So that's good, too. All right. Cross that part out. Okay. Now, moving on to the last part they, they tell us. They tell us the end behavior of the function. The end behavior will tell us about this coefficient in front of my leading term. So first, just looking at my leading term, I have x raised to an even power. If you remember back to that chart that they gave us in this section, they said that if we have an even power um, and a positive coefficient in front of it, the end, the end behavior of the function will be going up to infinity, both as x approaches negative infinity and as it approaches positive infinity. Because think about it, no matter what value I plug in for x here, when it's raised to the fourth, it will become positive. 2 to the fourth will be some positive value. Negative 2 to the fourth will also be some positive value. So if I have something raised to the fourth times a positive number, my end behavior will always be approaching infinity. On the other side, if I have an even power with a negative coefficient, this is a positive coefficient, this is negative, that would mean that all my positive values that I got when I plugged in x to the fourth, they'll end up being multiplied by some negative coefficient. So my graph will be flipped upside down. It'll be approaching negative infinity from both sides on my end behavior. All right, so looking at what they gave us, they told us that as x approaches both positive and negative infinity, our end behavior is going towards positive infinity. So that means that my coefficient here must be a positive 1. Since I'm multiplying my positive x to the fourth values times a positive 1, that'll give me my positive infinity and behavior values that they told us. And other than that, that's about it for this problem. So remember, to solve this type of problem, you just go through each piece of information one step at a time. We started with the degree, because I think that's the biggest piece of information that they told us. And then we just filled in everything else that they told us. For the end behavior part, Remember back to that chart that they gave us earlier in the section if you're having trouble with other problems. But other than that, that's it. I hope you found this video super helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what pre-cal class you're in. But in case you're interested, all the sections and problem numbers referenced in this video came from this lovely textbook right here. Remember that if you're a Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich at our Success Center. You can either schedule an appointment online or drop in during our business hours for free tutoring in pre-cal, calculus, and a whole lot of other subjects as well. For more information, visit our website.